Hi, it's Portia. Hope you are having a great day. I had a moment on the weekend to slow down and do a video, so I thought I'd just come on and talk about how things have been going. So as I'm recording this, it is the second week of July wrapping up. It's a hot mess. Uh, cases are rising. It is a really difficult time for all of us. Um, I hope that you're staying safe. I hope that you're staying encouraged. I hope that you're protecting yourself. I definitely have been developing a new relationship with the outside world to help stay sane and productive. Um, I think I've mentioned this in more recent videos. I don't necessarily check the news every day. And now that I'm out of the habit of that, I find it a little bit easier to go in and catch up on things briefly because I've just broken the habit of the steady drip. So that's been nice. I have been choosing to read longer format articles on the weekends where I have more time to sit and process. Um, I typically do that on Sunday. So this Saturday um, has been super nice because I often was putting a lot of pressure on myself to be productive over the weekends. And I am learning now that if I don't tell myself up front that I'm going to take a break, I'll never give it to myself. I'll keep saying, oh, when the work is done, you can do that. And so this morning I got up, I did some rowing, um, which is oddly enough starting to become okay for me. Um, I was on the rowing team in college. And so after my freshman year, when I was no longer doing novice crew, I'm like, you know what? I'm never rowing again voluntarily in my life. And I guess I just needed a break for a couple of decades because now it's turning out to be a pretty good alternative, especially when my knees are not liking running so much. So I did some rowing this morning. Let's see. I um, was sort of just doing nothing and scrolling on Reddit and my dad mentioned that he was in the area. So I was able to go meet up with him and spend some time with him and his friends. Um, I was very distanced I'm like at the next table, like, hey, how are you guys doing? Have a mask on. <laughs> but um, it's nice to, you know, just start to figure out how to get out and navigate the world and take care of myself. So that's been great. Um, let's see. I was able to just sort of, you know, get outside for some time. I still had some work with me. I actually just took time to look over some notes. I had written a lot of illegible notes this week and I needed to process them and understand what they said. So I did that for a little bit, just a nice mix of actually spending some downtime with people and getting a little bit of work done. So my whole point is that I'm getting better about taking breaks here and there so that I'm not working constantly. And that's been better for me than being rule bound, you know, just saying, hey, you're just gonna work all the time. Like that's not making me happy. We're, we're done with that. I say that. I'll be checking myself constantly to make sure that stays the case, but that's where I'm at. So I think that's a really good thing. Um, what has been difficult for me has been the sleep. This is nothing new. I've been struggling with sleep since 2010, but I just had so many nights where I get into bed and the anxiety is huge. I, I've had all kinds of anxious dreams and um, even the interventions that I've used in the years before are just, you know, they weren't easy then and they're really hard now. So I've really been trying to be compassionate with myself. I have days where if I haven't had much sleep, I try to get what I can done, but I'm really finally learning just to kind of take the to-do list and you know cut it into halves or thirds. Um, another thing that's going well for me is I've been writing consistently thanks to my writing coach, thanks to a writing challenge, thanks to accountability. I have deadlines and minimum times to write and I have a set time that I write every day and a calendar that I write down what I'm about to write about. So I'm just, hey, shout out to the people that are helping me figure out how to navigate this world as a scholar because I clearly needed you for the pandemic. So that has been going well. Um, the other thing that's going well is just understanding my nature as an empath that I really need to have boundaries and, and practice them. Um, it is so easy to give too much of yourself and no one understands how much pain that causes you. So understanding what it feels and what it means to have your energy go out and then know, okay, I can do X, Y, Z, but if I do that over there, that's going to overextend me. So learning how to have a voice, but not have to use that voice all the time. It's been important. Learning how to donate to meaningful causes and, you know, look after things that I need to. Um, you know, it's just a matter of having um, boundaries <laughs> in place and um, that's been really wonderful. It's giving, giving me a sense of ease. Um, not that I would have 
had trouble identifying priorities before, I just would have always given myself flack for not doing more. And now I'm just realizing that I really am invested in my long-term sustainability. So being able to tell how much bandwidth I have to engage with people, what I can and can't do, and when I'm frankly doing too much has been a godsend. Let's see, what else is working well? Um, intermittent fasting for the win has been great in quarantine. I'm pretty much still at the same weight. Um, which is great because for those of you who don't know me, I lost like 40 pounds for my highest weight two or three years ago, and it's been staying off during quarantine. So, yes. Um, still working out. I just finished my physical therapy, which is huge because I've been in physical therapy for months. I have a lot of newfound athleticism, and my struggle is not pushing it to the limits because my body is still giving me signs of you might be doing a little too much. So backing off a little bit on the hit routines, but still a lot of time with strengthening, mixing up the cardio, um, doing things that I can do at home has been fantastic. That's about it. I think I just wanted to come on and do a self-care check-in. Um, last week, I did my self-care Sunday <laughs> where I just tried to take a few hours away from everything and just find some things that would help to feed my soul. And I landed on something that has just been awesome. I started watching uh, Kelly Stamps videos. Ah, it's been amazing. I am so happy to have found this woman. She's just so authentically herself and I don't know. I'm enjoying it. I can't explain to you why I love it, but I seriously, I watch it. I let her ads play. I'm just like, I'm, I'm here with you. So really enjoying her videos. Um, what else have I done this week? That's been awesome to restore myself. I think I baked pretzel bites. Yeah, baking. I'm definitely one of those quarantine bakers. Um, I've made biscuits. I've made banana pudding. I've made vanilla wafers from scratch. Well, they look like scones, but technically they're vanilla wafers. Let's see. Oh, I made homemade tortillas. And then I did the pretzel bites this week. And the next move I'm thinking is going to be biscotti. So yes, this has been awesome. I just try to space it out a little bit because I don't want to gain a lot of weight, but carbs are awesome. Let's see. I bought glittery nail polish. Like, it's so beautiful. I don't even know if you can see that. Yeah. Oh, not really. Okay, I'm not skilled with this. Anywho, it's glittery, trust me. And I really love it. So, um, little things are making me happy. Doing the little things I can for others, doing the little things for myself. There's so much that I feel needs to be done that I can do, but if I don't take care of myself and take the solid stride, I'm not long the battle is done. So that's where I'm at. I'd love to hear from you. How are you getting through this? If you have a moment, please take time to subscribe and leave a comment below. Thanks, bye.